Hi, welcome to this little video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the new Adaptive Component Family in Revit Architecture 2011 um, to make a truck structural tree support. That was a bit of a mouthful. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is to start off with, we'll build our, our very simple roof, representation of our roof, uh, then we'll build the uh, uh, go into the Adaptive Component Family uh, build the, the support and then we'll bring it to and I'll show you how we can um, by adjusting the actual uh, roof's um, structure or surface we can um, adapt the um, component accordingly. So what we'll do is just going to start off with by just duplicating a couple of these reference planes here and all I'm doing is holding the shift and control key down um, to duplicate them and what we'll do is we'll make this 10 meters here and likewise we'll make this one 10 meters and then what I'm going to do is say set the current work plane level to be level 1 here and all I'm going to do is go to lines and I'm going to draw a model line from here to here and we can't see it that very well because I've got thin lines enabled but if I go to view you'll see that that's the placement point of that line there. And that is going to be uh, where we're going to drag and place our adaptive component family. So that's going to be the center line of its position. It can actually be positioned any, at any point along that line. But we're going to actually place it at the intersection. So what we'll do, we'll set this to be the current work plane. And I'll go to uh, model lines. I'm going to go to uh, line, uh, the actual arc tool and we'll just drag up here like this we'll set this to be the current work plane now and likewise we'll do another arc and you should find if you just by dragging along you can find the intersection endpoints of the actual arcs which is kind of cool in fact that's a line so that's not going to help as much is it let's delete that out and you can see likewise we'll have yep that's looking good and we'll just make sure that's correct now okay finally got there so select the two arcs we'll choose create form and then what we're going to do is select the surface I'm going to subdivide it uh, let's just change our grid pattern here let's make decrease it make it 8 by 8 um, we'll select the the divided surface and I'm going to go to my surface representation and I'm going to enable nodes and you'll see that I then get nodes at every UV intersection which is which is cool um, if I was actually to come along here and just change the shape of the roof just by picking up the edges you can see it then deforms as you would expect okay so we're good to go there um, go to the applications menu go new go to conceptual mass and now we're going to choose metric adaptive component obviously if you're using imperial you would choose the imperial version we'll open that I'm going to go to ref level so I'm looking down on plan and I'm going to place a point so it's just like placing a, a point in um, in uh, the, the conceptual mass environment you notice this family is slightly different the reference planes display slightly differently they can see they're green here I, sh I suppose in a way so you can differentiate between the two um, now the key to it is if I select my point now by selecting it you notice the modify uh, property points is enabled up here and I can now choose to make this adaptive but I could also choose it from the properties palette as well so if we say make adaptive you will see here that it changes number of reference planes appear and the number one so that's going to be the, its first uh, these numbers you'll see them as I place a number of points here you can number these accordingly but they're they're the order that you are going to place your points so what we'll do is we'll select this and this is really the key to it we'll select this point here and it's all about some of the parameters that are driven down here and you'll see orientation by host reference at the moment we're going to actually change that and we want vertical on placement so and again when I bring it in it will make a little bit more sense if we say set the work plane to this, this plane here and we're going to place another point and I will get an error message because I'm getting two points on top of one another but actually let's select this plane point sorry from the plane and then drag it off and you'll see here by dragging it off if you have a look at the properties palette you can see the offset parameter varies this one here uh, we're going to assign an offset parameter 
five and she's spell offset that's good uh, okay that and then what we'll do is we'll go to model lines and we're going to uh, actually draw by enabling 3d snapping from this point here to this one here okay and if we were to go to our family types now you'll see the offset parameter if we increase this let's make it nine meters you'll see that point increases or decreases which is good let's place a number of other points and these points here are going to be the positions at the ends of the uh, roof supports so let's select these and we'll make these adaptive and you can see now that they're now are numbered so we would have number one would be the original base point and then two three four and five would actually be the the brace supports for the actual roof that we're going to anchor underneath the actual roof itself um, we'll go back to model lines and we'll, keeping 3d snapping enabled we're going to actually snap okay these from the each point to the end point of this uh, point here and here now it's going to look a little bit weird because they're all sort of referenced on the on the base level that they were positioned on but we can actually drag them around you can see here they then adapt and move around in space um, now Zach Crones uses a nice little technique he would call this version uh, that you're seeing on the screen like the analytical version so it makes the e uh, placement of the adaptive component family a lot easier but then what he does is he assigns a more complex geometry to this and then uses a visibility control to, 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 to turn it on and off within the actual um, sort of master family I suppose is the best way to describe it let's just save this we're pretty pretty okay here let's just save this and we'll put it on a desktop and we'll call this roof support let's load this into our roof support family and you'll see the first position it's trying to you can see it here the that first point and the stalk that's coming up from vertically always remains vertical that's because we assign that parameter to it uh, let's snap it in the middle of the uh, midpoint of this line here which is good and then what you do is you then literally drag out um, in terms of the placement points so obviously we want a point here another one here's here and here so that you can see that I've gone round and as I snapped it sort of attached to the underside of the roof if we select the actual um, tree support and we go to edit types we can obviously control um, the intersection where the I suppose where that's the support the support sort of flare out from um, let's make this 75 uh, sorry seven and a half meters let's apply that and you can see then it sort of drags down now the, the neat thing now is because it's an adaptive component family if I make an adjustment to the subdivided surface this um, adaptive uh, tree structure will will deform and adjust to the to those changes so we'll come along here um, what we could probably do if we just drag it out here this way you can see now by just dragging that out obviously I've drawn the removed the arc from its original location but the the actual supports changed changed form um, if we come along and pick this edge here uh, let's using the space bar let's change the orientation let's move it up vertically and you can see now the tree structure is adapted and if I get this working for me properly we should be able to just come along here and adapt this here okay probably just moving it and then picking this if we pick this edge here let's drag it down you can see the whole lot's changing and deforming um, I'm not going to really show you how to add any more geometry to, to this little tree support maybe I'll do it in, in a future tu tutorial but hopefully this gives you the basis of, of how the new um, adaptive component family works in uh, uh, 2011 and um, yeah happy modeling